Hello, sixth graders. This is Miss Welsh, who misses seeing you every day while we're all stuck at home. Let's use what we've learned so far about Greek mythology to go on an odyssey. An odyssey is a long, wandering journey. So how are we going to do that? Especially now when we're all stuck in our homes for a prolonged period of time. Well, let's do it in a story. Not just any story. This is an ancient story. Some say this story goes back to 1100 BC and that it was likely written down by a man or possibly a group of men that we call Homer somewhere between 500 and 600 BC. The story might be 3,000 years old. It's definitely more than 2,000 years old. Back in Homer's day, you would not have read this story. You would have listened to it recited by a minstrel at a party or some other type of celebration. And a minstrel was a storyteller who memorized thousands of lines of epic poetry that made up stories like the Odyssey. Good storytellers had decent lives and bad storytellers had short ones. Anyway, some things that you need to know about the people who lived in the time of Odysseus, our story's hero. Uh, these people were ancient Greeks because they were Greek in Greece. They valued intelligence, athleticism, and beauty. They also thought it was very important that people be willing to go to war, uh, to fight, to become heroes. And another concept that's important to the story and to the Greeks is the idea of hospitality. And hospitality being that um, people were hospitable to strangers and thought that this was so important that you would feed, clothe, and give a stranger a place to sleep before even asking who that person was. So our story begins with Telemachus, Odysseus's son, who has been living with his mother in his father's house his entire life, and he's 20 years old. His father left when he was an infant. Um, Odysseus set out when Tele Telemachus was a baby for Troy to fight in the Trojan War. So Telemachus, who is a young man, has never met his father. And he is experiencing some problems that come with having your father be absent. And he'd like to get some of those things resolved. And as you'll see, they're, they're pretty difficult problems. But one day, a goddess shows up and visits Telemachus to tell him that he needs to take a journey to a neighboring kingdom to find out if his father is still alive. And that's where our story begins.